Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up the NPS browser on your Linux machine. If you want to do this on a platform such as Windows or Mac, I've got videos covering that as well. So I want to say that this video is not condoning piracy. It is for educational purposes only. And yeah, that's really it. So first of all, if you go to Google Chrome and you want to go to Wine Linux, Go to, or you can just go to winehq.org. There'll be a link to everything that you'll need in the description. Go to download and go to either Ubuntu, Debian, or Fedora and follow the instructions for whichever Linux distro you have. I have Ubuntu. And now let's copy each one of these commands. So this one is for enabling 32 bit. If you have a 64 bit OS, most likely you do. You need to open up terminal. So you can open it up from there. But you can do command shift. T, nope, that's not it. There's some command as well. We can open it up and show all application by searching for it. And if you paste that in, press enter, you'll ask you for your password, just type it in. This password refers to the password you would use to log into your Linux you know, user. I typed it in, nothing appears, not even asterisk, that's just for security purposes, but it is there. Click enter, and that command is just a very silent command and next one copy that you probably won't get that probably just go for a little bit of a process for you copy the next one paste that and that's all good and now depending on what Linux version you have choose one of these commands you can just go to your settings and go to details and find out here I'm, I'm, I'm on 18.04 which is this one right here. So copy that and paste that here. Okay, and now you need to do sudo apt get. Here we go, and the last one just go for stable branch, no really other reason to not get that, copy that and paste it. Again, some of this will take a little longer for you because you will probably have or, you know, you probably won't already have done it like I have. Now if you type in wine, if you get this, that's great. If you get something like command not found or found on some systems, it doesn't really work and it's best if you run this command as well afterwards so if you copy that or if you just put that in so sudo space apt space install space wine dash stable space wine tricks and put that into your terminal and obviously make sure the wine command is there also restart your computer if it, you know if it doesn't work that can help, sometimes help as well. Next, we want to go to NPS browser, and you or you can go directly to the nopaystation.com website. There is a Linux client, but honestly, it's not really very practical. It doesn't support everything. It doesn't support PSX games. Uh, you know, it's very cumbersome. It's better if you just use Wine to you run the PC version. So click that. And you'll download the exe. I've got it in the downloads folder. I ended up downloading it earlier on anyway. So let me delete a few things. And if Y is set up correctly, you can either do Y and do this and click enter, or you should just be able to double click it and it should just launch it up as a wine application. So disclaimer, da, da, da. and now this is just the setup. So what we need to do is basically copy and paste all of the links from here to here. So for the games, we need PS Vita. I'll put that there, so it's just a little easier for us to see. If we go PS Vita and open up PS3, open up PSP. PSM, we don't have any extra, neither does PSX. So what we need to do 
is just right click and copy the link address put that here now for the PSP TSV so in games I mean PSP games copy link address paste that here and now go to PSM TSV PSM that will be here that doesn't expand you know you've done it correctly when the dot TSV at the end okay PS3 TSV so this is all still within the game section paste and a PSX TSV where we're looking there we go copy link address paste and now the DLCs so we're looking at PSV which is PS Vita by the way if you're wondering so this is great not only to get hold of games again not condoning piracy but also considering the PSP store and some other stores have shut down now I think did they say the PS3 store has shut down as well I think there's a third one as well you don't have a choice if you want to get hold of even the games that you bought you can't get them so this is a great way of getting the games and you know, if you stick to the policy of, of I'll only get the ones that I bought then you know in, you know it's fine and you don't have a choice now so copy that and we're almost done got to set up a couple of things yeah download and unpack directly directory click browse and in here we just want to just go to DVD. Let's see let's see where we want to go to we want to put it somewhere that we can easily access personal so if I go to here personal is in my documents right here so I'll choose that and what I'll do is I'll create a new folder called NPS click that click OK so all the downloads will go to this folder and we need a PKG you know decryption tool and we can just Google PKG to zip I think the latest version is 2.2 I believe might have been 2.1 if we go to the video that I created for setting this up on Windows I had the link right here I'll make sure I'll put this in the description and if you go here go to releases go to the latest release whatever it is go to 32 bit is fine that's a-okay and open that just right click extract it you can extract it using any method that you want and we got the exe right there so i'm going to copy that folder put it in the nps folder now we can close this down and click browse go to this go to the exe open and we're done so now we can click x and leave my own minimum that we go to here sync the cache nothing seems to be appearing just make sure this is all good That's in the downloads folder. I didn't want it from the downloads folder. I wanted it from from the personal folder. That's where I wanted it from. I don't know why nothing appearing. That's strange. Let me close this down. Relaunch it up. I'm going to go to downloads. Hmm. 
on all the description panels. Okay, so the games aren't appearing, nothing's appearing. So what I'm thinking is, if we go to options, we I think we need them local, the TSV files. I think I remember having this issue a while ago. So if we go to, I'm gonna have to copy everything and delete from the menu. I'll close that down accidentally. So what we want to do is go to here, and if, if we actually just download all of this, so if we just click, 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 click 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 and now what we need to do is so where we downloaded it to which is for me right here i'm going to put it uh, i've probably already got this one downloaded before i'm going to create a new folder i'm going to call this tsv and i'm going to select all of these files put it into there and I'm going to copy that and put it into MPS right here. Now in here, if I, I'm just going to delete all these so I keep track of which ones I've done and which ones I haven't done. So if I go to browse, TSV, you can organize even more into PS Vita, PSP, PSM, PS and PS3. But and PSX, so I'm just going to leave it like this. PSV games, now the PSM, now PSX, now PSP, any of those games, now PS3, PSV DLC, PSP DLC, PS3 DLC. Strange why that window ain't opening. PSV themes. You know, it's super strange. Just make sure these two are set. Click X. As you can see, the database properly syncs now. Might take a little bit of time the first time you do it. Uh, so you just got to be, just got to wait patiently. Okay, there we go. Let me just go back to here. Oh, PS3, that's strange. If some of ain't working for me, hopefully it works for you. Just, just try clicking that and see if it works. If not, what you could probably do, I, mean, I guess what you could really do, and just copy one of these, paste that into there, and change that to PS3. Uh, so you need to, the editing gets messed up in there for some reason. So we're just doing here PS3 because that's what it was called. That's just a way to get around if you have a bug like that. Strange, click X, syncs to DB, DB, and the fact they're doing it like that. Uh, suggest that we've got the right TSV selected. Okay, so now you can select what console you want. So you can just you can see that drop down isn't working for me. It's a bit strange, but okay, everything's appearing. We can just go by type if you want. You can filter it by that. So if you wanted to download something, so if I wanted to download this, for example, I could go download and unpack starts downloading it and here it is PSP EMU ISO right there obviously this is a very small file and game but that's really it so that's you just use that on your emulator on your hacked console nothing more to it than that if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message you can obviously change from games DLC and themes here and as usual I look forward to seeing you in the next video